blessing my beautiful ladies welcome to another devotional today we're going to be learning how to control our emotions during difficult times sometimes it's really hard to be able to control our emotions to be able to control our thoughts to be able to have tolerance with other people because we are too wrapped up in our own feelings and what we're thinking about whatever situation we're going through. And that's why this week we felt in our heart that it was important to meditate in the Word of God and what He says about the emotions and how He has given us dominion to be able to control every emotion, to control every thought, to control every decision that we make. Amen. And another thing that I was meditating as as I was thinking about emotions, is how we allow the emotions sometimes to get to take complete control of our mind, our our attitudes, and even our decisions sometimes. And emotions are not bad. God is an emotional God as well. But is how do we allow those emotions to take control? Do we allow those emotions to now take us into this darkness if you will where now we need a truck of christians to get us out of there but the word of god is very clear when it says that he has not given us a spirit that enslaves us or makes us slaves but it's a spirit that gives us freedom and self-discipline and self-control mm -hmm. so it's important for us to know that we have that power Amen. god has given us that power that yes, we will go through moments where we will see or feel that those emotions are rising up in us to make us say or do something that is not pleasing to God. Right. But we have that power. Yeah. And sometimes not knowing that we have that power is what keeps us in bondage. Amen. God wants us, wants us to be free. Amen. He wants us to know that we have the power to be able to say no to the emotion and say yes to the way God wants us to respond. Because the Lord knows that we go through emotions. That's why he has given us the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And those fruits that the Holy Spirit has is what help us go through our emotions, is what help, help us channel everything in the right way. And I would like to share with you today Galatians 5, 22, 23. And it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. What a powerful word. Wow. And before we even go deeper, let me just remind you that the moment you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes and lives in you. And the word is telling us that the Holy Spirit already has fruits and we just read the fruits that this the holy spirit has so when we start thinking about all these fruits that are living in us and we understand that one of them is self-control the lord is telling us you have everything in you to be able to manage your emotions no matter what we're going through no matter the situation we're in we're able to have peace in the middle of everything. Why? Because it's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. We're able to love other people no matter how they're treating us or what we're going through. We're able to treat people with love and tolerance because the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love and kindness. So when we start and we understand what these fruits are and we actually allow the Holy Spirit to help us control and manage those emotions, we're going to be able to enjoy life even better because we're not being controlled by those emotions, but we are actually controlling them. Amen. And one thing that I, that God was reminding me is I'm here to help. You can't do this on your own, which is why God has given us this spirit. And that's what 2 Timothy 1, 7 says. It says, for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. He has given us that power. We have it. Sometimes we don't know we have it, which is why we're attached or in bondage. But that's why we can come to God and say, God, I don't know that I can control this emotion, so I'm surrendering that emotion to you. And I'm asking Amen. of your Holy Spirit to help me to give me the power that already lives in me. Help me live in that power. Mm -hmm. How do I tap into that power of the Holy Spirit? 
but it requires for, for us to recognize that in those moments of being vulnerable, and especially as women that go through so many emotions, especially hormonal <laughs> <laughs> emotions, those emotions we can still control. Yeah. We can control everything. Why? Because God said so. God said that we have self-discipline. We have self-control. So even those things that are that are chemical, if you if you will, we can still come to God and say, God, I'm going through this. I don't want to misbehave. I don't want to respond in the wrong way. Right. I want to please you with everything that I do. Right. And so that's why he wants to remind us today that we have the power of the Holy Spirit living in us. It's the same power that helped resurrect Jesus from that tomb. Right. It's that same Amen. power. So you can control your emotions. You can control how you react to the situation. You may not be able to change the situation right. or the problem or the person or how they're treating you. Right. But you can totally control how you react right to that situation and to that person amen and i think that's the reason why the lord wants to remind us today that he has already placed in us through the holy spirit those fruits that the holy spirit has mm -hmm. so by you knowing and understanding that inside of you you have kindness you have goodness joy peace love when you understand this kind of fruits that are living in you you know that you will be able to overcome whatever emotion you're going through. And especially in the most important fruit that is in there is self-control. You can control whatever, anything that comes to your mind, any emotion that comes to the surface, no matter what circumstances you're going through. So make sure you always tap in to that power that is in you. So today we want to share with you two steps that we pray will help you control your emotions, will help you understand the power that lives in you and that you're able to going forward, control your emotions instead of letting your emotions controlling you. Amen. Step number one is every time you feel that those emotions are raising up in you, don't let them take over. Surrender those emotions to God. Say, God, I'm angry or I'm moody, whatever it is. Ask him for help and remember that you have that power within you. But the key is to come to him and surrendering that, mm -hmm. saying, God, I give you this bad mood. I give you this bad attitude. I give that to you. And I ask you to please help me to exercise that self-control that I know I have through you. Amen. And step number two is to actually know and understand the fruits of the Holy Spirit because they are living in you. And if you don't even know or you're not aware of those powerful fruits that are living in you, you won't be able to enjoy them. So make sure you study Galatians 5, 22 and 23 and memorize those fruits that are living in you. So in those moments when you don't know how to overcome whatever emotion you're going through, you're reminded by the Holy Spirit that those fruits are living in you. My beautiful ladies, it's our prayer that this devotional has blessed your life, that you're able to incorporate these two steps, that you're able to meditate in the Word of God, be able to control your emotions. Make sure you share this video with other ladies who we know also suffer with hormonal situations and that you're able to share that video so they can control their emotions as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will see you next Saturday.